There's been instances in, in New York where a guy, a black man, has stepped in to protect a woman and he unlost his life or he mm -hmm. ended up in a hospital. So yeah. there is that fear of, I don't know this woman, but if I step in, there could be harm to myself. Like, this is not a woman, this is not my family, this right. is not my sister. If you've been paying attention, you know about this story. Yo, this man just hit me in my face with a brick and all these black men just watch. Are y'all telling us that if you are not related to us, if you are not dating us, if you're not having some sort of physical relationship to us. I was born in the wrong gen generation because not that lady just got her got hit in the face with a brick and not one man and not one man stood up. If you don't find us attractive, if you don't find us polite enough, kind enough, quiet enough. Even if it's not all men, the fact that she was attacked by a man and there were other men around. That our lives are not worth protecting? Is that what you're telling us? Is that the precedent you're setting? But what went uncovered is that a lot of men reacted in this way. Listen, I feel bad for Shorty. I really do. Nobody want to go through that. Now, did she deserve to get smacked upside her face with a brick? Absolutely not. Should a man be smacking a woman with a brick for unnecessary reasons? Absolutely not. So I want to say, ma'am, I'm truly sorry that that happened to you. What you actually heard was a level of concern. And even some guys using words like ma'am and shorty to say that they didn't want to see her go through this. But the problem, of course, is how does a woman that wants to be protected act? We desire protection, but sometimes what we don't understand is that true protection comes with a level of control. Bodyguards are a good example. A bodyguard will make their client leave from a dangerous place. The bodyguard has to know all the details, who, what, when, where, why, and how. And the client has to listen to the bodyguard and follow the instruction that the bodyguard gives them. When the person who needs protecting does not follow the instruction and the direction of the protector, it puts the protector in a situation where they're more likely to lose their life. I have four brothers and a father, and I listen to their instruction even when they're not around. They have told me to stay away from certain places if I'm by myself or if it's late at night. Even though my brothers, my dad, and the men in my life protect me, I in turn protect them by listening to them and following their instruction. One reoccurring theme that you heard in many of the TikToks was guys asking women and specifically strangers, do you appreciate the cost of our protection? But let me tell you something, in 2023, you never know what the situation is. There's three scenarios we got here. Dude goes over to be a fake superhero, and then the girl, when the police come, the girl's like, I don't know who that individual is. He got in the way of me and my significant other talking. We were just having a conversation, and he came and hit my significant other. Now you got two against one. He going to jail because he was trying to save the day because he didn't mind his own business. The best you could do is make a phone call or two by calling an ambulance or you know, the sheriff or the police or something, 911. Uh, other than that, no. I mean, having a, an assault and battery charge on your record, it's hard to get a job. It's hard to get an apartment. I really feel like men feel emotions differently than you. If you as a woman are scared to intervene with a man bashing a woman's head in with a brick, that same fear you feel, every man feels, except we're expected to react differently to it. If I go up to him and say something, you think he's just gonna be like, you know what, you're right, let me put the brick down. No, any that hits you in your face with a brick, they are clearly not right in the head. I'm really sorry that that happened to you, but if you look at this, what about the prior situations where there was a gentleman who tried to intervene on a woman being assaulted and he was sh and she rode off with her boyfriend? They were happy when we molly whopped that white woman in Montgomery. Because it was like, yeah, smack her upside the head, yeah. But everybody went to jail, including that dude that hit that woman. I'm not going to jail for the ass. Scenario number two, man go over there, be a fake superhero, do pull out a dangerous weapon, unalives him. Now he not on this earth because he wanted to do something like a superhero. Then when men say, uh-uh, like, I'm weighing the risk. Y'all like, what? You supposed to be a crash dummy. Jump in there. Put your head in between the brick and her head. There's another video where a paramedic was intervening on an African-American woman who was being assaulted by her baby daddy and she shot him. If I just seen this man hit her in her face with a brick, now if I go up there, I potentially got to get hit in the face with a brick too. Scenario number three. Stranger goes over there, saves the day. Police come. Shorty talk about... No, he wasn't hurting me. The stranger did help me out, but I don't want to sign complaints. I don't want 
my boyfriend to go to jail, that man risked his life for absolutely no reason. I'm sorry, man, but at the end of the day, you know, I don't know what to do anymore because at this point, it's like, if we step in, we lose our lives. Y'all still may leave with this individual, but yet y'all want to say that y'all are equal to men, but you also want our protection. Another thing you saw in the TikToks is that society has changed so fast and the rules have become so vague that many guys simply don't know what to do. Men don't owe strangers anything. I'm just gonna say it like that. They don't owe strangers anything at all. Men aren't allowed to grieve as long. It could be a real death in the family. Like, bro, you don't be depressed for two months. One month max, I need you to get back to being a man, okay? Like, men aren't allowed to feel as much as y'all are allowed to feel. What do you want us to do as African-American men? We live in a society where you and other women have made videos talking about you are superior, you are equal to men, you are better than men, you don't need men, but then you want to scream and clamor for our protection in situations like this. When I see out in public, I just try to mind my business. If Why don't y'all have any empathy? A lady went crazy about empathy in my comment section. Empathy? Where's the empathy for us? What I found encouraging about the compilation of TikToks of black men like myself is that we were not just saying we're going to protect blanketly, but that instead black men saw value in their protection and saying, well, now I will protect you, but under my given conditions. But the only people I immediately respond for is my family and kids. I don't care if I don't know you from a can of paint. I see you doing something to a kid. I'm responding immediately. And y'all wonder why I laugh when y'all say we should protect all black women. We should only protect the ones that love and respect us. And I know y'all gonna be like, oh, men are supposed to be protectors. I am a protector for immediate protection for my family and kids, right? But you can't be mad. You can't say somebody's not a protector just because they don't want to get hit in the face by a brick for somebody that they don't no. But at the end of the day, we live in a society now of I'm minding my business because it's not my family. This is a fantastic TikTok and I like this lady because you can tell she understands the price and the value of protection. And her analogy with rubies and rocks is just spot on as to how a woman who wants to be protected will behave. And this is another thing I feel like is pertinent to say and I know folks ain't gonna like this one. I don't have sons right now, but when I do have sons, I'm gonna teach them that there's a difference between diamonds and dirt and rubies and rocks. Rubies and diamonds are often in jewelry stores. They're in glass cases, they're secured, there's an alarm system. There's a lot of layers of protection because those things are valuable. But you could pull over to the side of the road and find some dirt and rocks. Her analogy with the rocks and rubies is spot on. For someone that wants to be accessible to everyone, that has an effect on their value. And for someone who knows that they are of value and people want to protect them, they're going to listen to the voices that are looking out for their best interests so that they can avoid those difficult situations. But she brings it home with this point here. Expecting a man to risk his well-being, his future, and his life on someone who does not see value in themselves or the man is asinine. That's a very asinine thing to ask. All I'm saying is protection comes with a little bit of sacrifice. It comes with a little bit of control. And me personally, I feel that what I have to sacrifice and the amount of control I have to give up is 100% worth it to receive the protection that I've been getting my whole life. The commonality that I see in this variety of TikToks and TikTok creators is that these are a group of black men who are thinking about the consequences of giving their protection and wondering, is the person I'm giving my protection to appreciating it properly? Do they understand the cost of it? Are they looking out for my best interest? And hearing this running theme is one that's new and refreshing because instead of black men just blanketly saying, I'm going to sacrifice myself no matter what because I'm a man and that's what men are supposed to do and moving to a point where it's, hey, listen, I'm giving up something. My life is of value. So I'm not going to sacrifice myself unless it's someone that values me. And that is inflation protection inflation and i'm happy to see it because black men's lives matter they have value and we should not be people putting ourselves in a line of fire for old chivalry in an age where chivalry is no more with us 
Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment below. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care, guys.